Hello friends, let us see one more example based on these stick diagrams which is a bit complex. So let me write the question first. So y is equals to, your y indicates your output ok. So y is equals to uh, a plus bc into e plus d whole bar. So let me, uh, you can ask me the question sir if you, if you don't have this bar over here what you will do? I'll discuss it later. Let me solve this question first. Let me solve. Let me draw the sig diagram for this expression first. So, see, uh, let us do some groundwork. So, first you need to write like this here. For n mos, what? Um, dot indicates series. So you know this, right? So write here. So if you write these, uh, write these n mos and p mos indications like here. Uh, the chances of committing a mistake will be reduced, will get reduced. So I suggest you to write a side like this. So here first step, first condition is satisfied here. The expression is in complemented form. So we can proceed to our second step. Uh, yeah, let us draw static CMOS circuit for this expression given. So see here, for this entire thing, let us say this entire a plus b a plus b c dot e is x. So d is in d is in series with this entire thing, right? See for p mos plus is series, right? So d is in series with this entire thing. So let me write d first. I'm saying this as my d. D is in series with what? See e is in parallel with this entire thing right e is in parallel with a plus b c this is what i am saying so let me call this as e okay this is my e e is in parallel with what here you will get a plus b c so plus means what series right so a is in series with b and c b and c parallel right because dot indicates parallel so here my a what it is in series with bc right bc means b dot c dot means parallel so this is my c and this will be my b so this uh, by drawing this or my entire this will be your vdd my entire pull up network got completed so exactly vice versa to this pull up network is pull down network right so you can draw it easily so let me draw it uh, to make your life comfortable to my to make your work easier so see this entire d is in parallel with this entire thing right because plus indicates parallel in case of nmos so d is in parallel with this entire thing so let me draw d like this okay so this is my D, right? And again, E is in series with this entire thing. So let me draw E here. Let me place this E transistor, a transistor with E as input here. And uh, this E is in series with this entire thing, right? E is in series with this entire thing, A plus B, C. E is in series with A plus B, C. So plus indicates parallel again. So A is in parallel with B, C in series. That means your a will be in parallel with bc b dot c means dot in the n dot in nmos is series right so this is your b and c i hope this is your b and this is your c i hope i have not committed any mistake and everything went well so yeah this will be your ground and this will be your output we are done with the second step even so we can easily draw the stick diagrams here right so let us quickly move to the stick diagrams so without wasting any time see i'm writing here i hope you can see the uh, diagram this diagram here so yeah first step is what this is my vdd line right and this is my ground line Yeah, I'm sorry. This is my VDD line and this is my ground line. So how many how many transistors do you have? One, two, three, four, five. 
So five yellow lines you need to draw here, right? One for A, one for B, one for C, one for D, one for E, right? So see here, what? D is in series. D is in series with this entire thing. So if you have such complex circuits like this, I suggest you to draw all the all the yellow lines uh, one down by other okay you need to show some distance between every yellow line I suggest you the thing okay see here D I'm drawing it like this this is my D and D is in series with what A okay A so this is my this will be my A yeah and uh, A A is in series with what B and C parallel so I just write this like this A is in series with B and C C parallel A B sorry this is D A B C and only E is left here uh, yeah E is in parallel with this entire thing oh my god what happened to this pen let me draw somewhere here or yeah so this is D so this is D A B C E right exactly beneath them I'm drawing uh, the end diffusion lines for NMOS transistors so D right exactly beneath this D I'm representing my D here with this N line and what D is in parallel with your my E so with some distance I'm indicating my E here yeah and okay so uh, after D E what A A is also parallel so this is my A, I am also indicating with some distance here, this is my A and uh, sorry, yeah, and your, my B and C are in parallel now, uh, series now, series with A parallel, right? So let me wait. So what, I have assumed this line as A, right? So I will even assume this as my A. For A, uh, B and C are parallel, right? So, so A is... Uh, A is parallel to B and C series so this will be my B and uh, B is in series with uh, C right so this will be my C and to this entire thing uh, E is also in series so E is, is parallel or something here let, let me indicate with this uh, a bit uh, lower than this so I assume this as D so to this D green D to LO A green A to LO B green b to loc green c to loe green d green e this you must make uh, a bit what so this you must make sure whatever input you are representing here the same input should be here okay so you are done with your first step so if you if you feel some complex like so uh, representing a bit lower or what we sh how, how we should represent a bit lower or side by side then I suggest you to represent every line like this see like this so line so if you have confusion on drawing drawing all the lines side by side or a bit lower you can draw every you can make some distance between every line I suggest you this when you have confusion so the second step is what let us draw this polysilicon lines that's it uh, this is our first step and polysilicon lines polysilicon polysilicon sorry so this is your this is our d a b c and e okay you you please like d a b c and e just for reference just to make ourselves uh, without committing any mistake uh, to avoid committing any mistake I'm just writing here so now we are done with your step 2 and let's uh, quickly proceed to step 3 which is connecting all the metals connecting all the transistors and connecting all the transistors to output using metal lines so here see if you clearly observe uh, D is connect both A and E A is one end and E is one end are connected to D is one end so yeah this is my A A is one end and uh, this is this will be my e so e is one end oh my god or this will be my e so a is one end and my e is one end are connected to uh, d is one end so yes i'm done i'm doing good so next uh, 
B and C. B B and C one end are connected to each other, right? So C B's one end and C's one end C's one end are connected. So I'm connecting them both. And even here, B's one end and C's one end are connected. So uh, yeah, I'm connecting them both. So B's one end, C's one end are connected to A's one end. So C B's one end, C's one end are connected to A's one end. So the remaining end end of A is connected to this, right? I'm done. So uh, yeah, and this one end is connected to VDD. So here, this one end I'm connecting this to VDD, and again. So we are left with only one, right? See here, uh, B and C is one end is connected to E's one end. So B and C is one end is this one, and this is connected to your E's one end, which is your output, right? So we are done with pull up network. We are done, right? So next, coming to the pull down network, see, uh, this one end is connected to E's one end, right? This one end is connected to E's one end. So this is my D, of course. So this one end is connected to my E's one end. So this is my E's one end and this is my D's one end and both of them are connected. So yeah, and that is connected to my output. So I'm connecting this to my, so I'm connecting this to my output straight away. As simple as that. And C, B and C both end are connected. This is B, right? B and C are connected here and one end of B is connected to one end of A. So one end of B is this one and this is connected to what? One end of A. Right? And yeah. Oh my god. And yeah, this is one end of B is connected to one end of one end of B is connected to one end of A and that is connected to one end of E. So this is my E, right? So this is this is gonna connect to this is going to connect with this sorry I'm so sorry so one end of B is this one and so one end of B is this one one end of A is this one so see I'm connecting this so here one end of A and one end of B both of them are connected to one end of E so one end of A one end of B this is connected to one end of E here done and uh, other end of E is connected to D and which is connected to output and we are left with this is C right one end of C and uh, C, one end of C and one end of A are connected to ground, are connected to one end of D which is connected to ground, see, uh, this is one end of uh, A and this is your one end of uh, C which is connected to one end of uh, D, this is your one end of D and which is connected to your ground, so right, uh, it is only your left with one step which is uh, marking external contacts with black dot so yeah so you are done with the stick diagram now so this is how you can draw stick diagram by making use of those four steps and even I have uh, more complex examples than this but I hope this is sufficient for you to draw any sort of stick diagram uh, if you want I can discuss one more example let us see it in next lecture and and remember one thing there will be contact only between metal and a polysilicon and metal and diffusions that's it there won't be any contact between metal and metal sorry there won't be any contact between metal and uh, sorry uh, polysilicon and diffusion because it forms a transistor contact is formed only between metal and polysilicon and metal and diffusion you please remember this point and i hope you got how to draw stick diagrams and i hope you enjoyed this lecture please do not hesitate to share the knowledge uh, thank you for watching this video good time to you bye